much more traffic on our roads nowadays than ever before, that crossing the road is far more dangerous for all of us. But it's especially more dangerous for children. Why? A look at this. Only a quarter of the people in this country are children. And yet, almost a half of all the pedestrians who are killed or badly hurt on our roads are children. The main problem for child pedestrians is crossing the road. Nine out of every ten of them who are killed or hurt are killed or hurt when crossing the road. And so to help them, a new and improved way of crossing the road safely has been brought out. It's called the Green Cross Code. And this is what the code says. One, first find a safe place to cross, then stop. Two, stand on the pavement near the curb. Three, look all round for traffic and listen. Four, if traffic is coming, let it pass. Look all round again. Five, when there is no traffic near, walk straight across the road. And six, keep looking and listening for traffic while you cross. Now let's see how the code works. One, first find a safe place to cross, then stop. When you want to cross, choose a place where you can see clearly along the roads in all directions. Don't try to cross between parked cars. Keep moving along until you come to a clear space where you can see the traffic and drivers can see you. So that's how the code works. And now let's look more closely at the beginning. First, find a safe place to cross. If you can, it's safer to cross at a footbridge, a subway, a zebra crossing, a pelican crossing, traffic lights, or where there's a policeman, a lollipop man, or a traffic warden. If you can't find one of these safer crossing places, then look for a clear place. But don't try to cross between parked cars. And always use the Green Cross Code. The Green Cross Code is for everyone, but it's especially valuable to children. Good parents make sure their children understand the code and act on it always. Wise children practice the code. Remember it and cross the road safely.